Hello. This talk is going to be on organizational intelligence, also entitled How Organizations Use Data to Formulate Strategy. In other words, this is the big picture. We're going to discuss why organizations collect data and how is it used. So the first question people ask is why do organizations collect data for an analytics purposes? And the best saying that I have for that is if you don't know where you're going, then any road is going to take you there. So what organizations need is they need a view of their place in the world and then they try to look at the world itself and then figure out where do where am I now where do I have to go so they're going to collect this data to for business purposes in order to understand how to maximize whatever they're trying to do if this is a business they're trying to figure out how to make money now and how they can stay in business in the future by choosing the correct profit uh, product line um, what type of customers they're going to try to attract things of that nature now the big picture is basically can be some put into this term organizations turn data into strategy that's what it all boils down to and they do this in a three-step process the three-step process is step one collect the data step two analyze the data and step three formulate strategy in other words profit and I'm gonna go through this and we're gonna go into greater depth in some in some other videos but this is boils down to what is going on with that data now I'm giving you sort of a, a, a generic vanilla version of this obviously what I'm giving you is an oversimplification and other organizations have a more complex way of doing this but this is giving you a real good overview of it and, and I don't want you to get the uh, impression that every organization follows this formulaic approach that's not the case but it can be summed down to this in its essence so let's take a look at this in a graph form. So you can see up here, we have data intelligence, and their job is to collect facts from the world and the organization and turn it into usable data. Now over here, they shove their data over downstream to analytics intelligence, and what does their job is to take this data that they were given and turn that data into usable information so that's their job when they're done they send that information to the business intelligence people and what their job is to take the information from the analytics intelligence people and they have to understand it and then once they understand what's going on they turn that into strategy and action so let's take a look a, a little bit more closer look into what's going on step one data intelligence what's going on here as I said before they collect facts from both inside and outside of the organization and then they turn that facts into useful data step two we use that data we collect that data and we turn it into intelligence so data into intelligence and step three we understand the information and we turn it into strategy and action now we're gonna as I said before in some uh, future talks we're gonna go into more depth as to what's going on here but this is the overview of this now for this class I'm assuming most of the students are in one of these two areas they are non practitioners of data of analytics they might be database people who want to understand what type of people they're servicing so the the data intelligence people are going to create databases that the analytics people are going to be utilizing if you understand what they're doing and why they're doing it you might do uh, build a better database likewise if you're a uh, business intelligence person and you're sitting downstream from the analytics world those folks might want a better understanding of the analytics so when when some analytics guy is talking about a neural network it's not like he's talking about voodoo or a magic eight ball there's some thought or, or ideas behind so what I want to do is this course is going to um, be 
focused or the, this course is going to be geared to un, the audience of data intelligence people and business intelligence people, but it's going to talk about the analytics intelligence. But we're going to do that in future uh, lectures. Right now, I want you to understand how all three of these pieces fit together. So that's what the topic of this first, um, the first unit of this class is going to be. So that is the um, end of the first talk on the big picture on how everybody fits together. And we'll resume in the next talk uh, and speak about data intelligence.